All right, everybody. Hello there. Welcome. Good to have you all. I'm I'm a little bit torn being here, I'll be honest, straight off. Um, so yesterday I had a really, really bad day. I was actually in a car accident. Um, I, I got, well, more of like I got hit by a car. I was riding my bike and somebody hit me. So I'm, uh, I'm not feeling too well. <laughs> um, but um, as part of that, essentially, I decided that I'm going to play uh, Mario RPG. This is, um, to be honest, this is actually my favorite game of all time to this day, ever since I first played it uh, back when I was a kid. And I was super excited because uh, now I've actually got this. Whee! Can't see it too well. Ah, it's the mini SNES. You can sort of kind of see it at least. Um, and I was really, really sad because on my old computer, I tried to stream from it several times at, um, at various times and, you know, make it work and do things. But it just, it never worked quite well um, because I, I, had a, um, I had a box that I would stream HDMI signals from and it worked okay for a while, but mostly it was just stupid, unfortunately. And um, it really rarely worked. So, yeah. So in this case, I, um, so yeah, I, I was really upset um, that it didn't work because it meant I couldn't stream some of my favorite games on the mini SNES or the um, the mini NES that I've got, my Wii U, all of these things that I really enjoyed streaming from. But now that I got my new computer, in part I wanted to test it to make sure that it'll work. So I'm super excited, um, and this is um, this is really fun because in two weeks, three weeks ish, probably three weeks. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to be doing my big giant live stream. You guys can see there's a couple of links in the, um, in my Twitch here, um, for the Dolphins Cancer Challenge. I'm going to be doing a big live stream to raise money for that. And I'm going to put up a big announcement video sometime, hopefully later this weekend, if not really early next week, to, um, let you guys know all of the info that you need. I'm going to be, uh, streaming for at least 12 hours, probably 18. Um, just playing a whole bunch of games, doing a whole bunch of cool stuff, having a bunch of fun. Um, I've got some of the games on, on the list already that I want to do, that I know I want to do for sure. Um, and essentially I'm just trying to figure out what else I want to play. So as always, if you guys have suggestions for games that you would like to see, please let me know. But for the time being, this is Super Mario RPG. It was originally released on the Super Nintendo or the Super Famicom, depending on where you live. Um, and I want to say it was released in the U.S. in like 96, maybe 95, somewhere around there. Uh, so yeah, it was, um, it was the first actual role-playing game that starred Mario. Um, and honestly, it's just adorable to this day. It's a very common, um, it has all the common tropes of RPGs. You have the hero trying to save the person in distress, save the world because there's a bigger evil attacking. Former enemies have to team up in order to conquer the bad guys, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so that's why I'm actually working with Bowser in this case. This is one of my old save files. Um, but God, I just, I love this game. The humor in it is absolutely spot on. If you guys have ever played um, if you, if you've ever played the Paper Mario series, Paper Mario is sort of the spiritual successor to this game. And, um, whether it's Paper Mario or the Thousand Year Door, um, but yeah, so they're actually telling you the plot right now and it's always adorable. So Big Sword came down and we, we have the big bad guy whose name is Smithy and we're trying to go and attack it, essentially. So Bowser is very upset because they took over his keep. They took over Bowser's keep and now they all live in it. And so he's trying to get them all down. And of course the world is at stake. When the sword came down, it broke the star bridge as it's referred to. Um, and so now we have to go and we have to collect stars because we always have to collect stars. That's what we do, as Yahtzee would say. But yeah, so it's pretty exciting. 
And effectively over the next few weeks, one of the big things I'm gonna be doing is just sort of um, making sure that all of my upcoming stuff works. So I'm gonna be doing giveaways of game codes, board games, all sorts of stuff for my, uh, for my big charity stream. And in part, I'm testing some of the features of my new extensions that I've added to my Twitch and all that kind of stuff. So I'm pretty, ex I'm pretty excited. Without the aid of Star Wars, you'd never be rescued. Huh. Aww. No, not my key. I won't get my key back. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser gets confused easily. <laughs> so the big shtick with this in the uh, in the Star Road is that it's how wishes are granted. Essentially, stars show up on the road, and they they represent wishes that people make. So it's pretty awesome. Hey, look! It's Commander Root and Cthulhu pants. Oh man, I can't imagine trying to put Cthulhu in pants. There would be so many leg holes. It'd be ridiculous. So, um, Toadstool in this case is, um, <laughs> um, uh oh, another favor. I must defeat Smithy. We have to live in peace. Toad, bro. So Toadstool is essentially the main support character for the game. She does all the healing and buffing and all that kind of stuff. So thankfully, she decides to come with us. Yay! So his grandpa is a frog. His name is Frog Fucius, and it's hilarious. <laughs> Just as I thought. Toad still joins the party. Oh look, it's Eag. Hey Eag, how are you doing? I hope that you had a good week, or at least a better week than I did. See, look at all these places that I've been. I think this is Tadpole Pond. So we can go. He's just gonna tell me to go to Mary Moore, essentially. One thing that I really, really love about this game, honestly, is the music. It's not something that I ordinarily pay attention to, but it's really great. I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's just perfectly cheery and happy when it needs to be. You've got a good variety in the different locations uh, for their music. It fits the atmospheres very, very well. I will be honest, this was, um, the, the music for this game was the first, um, the OST, the original soundtrack that I actually bought for a video game. It wasn't the last one, but it was the first one. So I think this just lets me leave. Yeah. Um, so now, um, in this case, we're on the, we're on Star Hill. So we'll actually be able to see the, um, the wishes that people have made and we'll be able to hear them. And at different points, we get some interactions with other characters. Right, so let's see, Cricket Jam. So that's most likely Frog Fuchsius. Hope my baby's cute. Aw, start a family. So we basically need to find all of these main ones. Oh, that's Mallow. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mallow. Mallow is so cute. I'm just saying there's never going to be a character like Mallow. He is adorable. Go away, you little thief. I can say that because he's actually a thief. But, I mean, there's just something about this game that speaks to me on a really fun level. It's, um, it's just super adorable. 
Ah, oh, that's Balom. So, incidentally, one of the things that I'm debating for my stream is a third class baker. So, we ended up fighting a cake in Marimor. <laughs> it was hilarious. It really was. It was really funny. And um, so the, the, the bakers, for G they were very German, y'all. Yeah. So it was so German. One thing about this game is that you have what's referred to as timed hits. And the idea is that you can get more damage from your, um, from your attacks. And simultaneously, you can reduce the damage that you receive. So it adds just another little level of strategy. So you may have noticed that when Bowser threw his chain thing, that it went om nom 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 nom. That's because I got the hit. Um, it's, it's not difficult to do. There's... Oh, let Mallow find his way home. Oh. He, he only just recently realized that he's not a frog. So it's been a very traumatic time for Mallow here. Unfortunately. <laughs> And one, one thing that, honestly, I, I tend to enjoy seeing with this game is a lot of people will do... Um, okay, so just real quick, I'll show you the non-timed hit. So when I don't push the button, when I just do the regular attack, it just bounces off. It doesn't do the nom 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 thing. And there, there's the same thing for blocking attacks, but I, I can never get it quite right. Um, ah, shoot. I, I can't even revive him. Um, one of the somewhat frustrating things about this this game is, well, like, like a lot of RPGs, honestly, is that you can end up with, um, with difficulties of maintaining your roster really well. Um, it can be difficult because people will gain XP and everything slightly differently. It's not super different, but it can be. So, here. I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, incidentally, the flower points are basically your MP for this game. Um, and it's a, it's a shared pool. You don't have individual MP values for anybody who's familiar with most RPGs. You don't do that. But yeah, this is this is the game. And, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, right. One of the things that I was debating for my big live stream is whether I will play my continuation games. In other words, whether I'll, I'll keep going with my regular save files or if I'll do a, um, a new save file, essentially. I feel like I'm going backwards here. Let me see here. Oh, it's Luigi's wish! It's fun because most of these you can see. Oh, look, it's the star! So this is the piece of Star Road. Super easy, right? Yay, we got it. So happy. Actually, I think this one we actually do get. Whee! This animation takes forever, though. Um, one thing that I enjoy watching with this particular game, too, um, that I started mentioning briefly is the... Um, is watching people speed run this thing. Um, there's there's one guy that I remember in particular. His name is Cipher, um, and he's he's one of the best Mario RPG speedrunners. Um, uh, he was at AGDQ and SGDQ, SGDQ, SGDQ. That is awesome game, games done quick and summer games done quick, respectively. Um, with the idea being that they. It's, it's like a week-long thing of people just sitting there playing games. 
and and just generally being awesome. It's really cool. So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. It's pretty neat. Um, oh God, I hate this one. I hate this one so much. I I remember what's going on here, and I hate it. I hate this one so much, you guys. Yeah, this is... This is really a frustrating level. Or a frustrating section of the game, I should say. How does he know that I only have three more to go? So you may notice that this town is a little bit weird. There's very strange people here, and they're doing very strange things, and it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Why are they doing this? <laughs> I need it for a certain purpose. <laughs> oh, man. Frog coins are really cool. They can um, they can give you some really neat stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of coins available. All right, I'll just stick to the the main stuff going on here, at least for the most part. One thing in this game is that there's a lot of hidden blocks. There's a lot of hidden boxes of various sorts. Um. So now we need to get to the pirate ship. This is what I'm... So that is the revival thing that you can use. Okay, so let me redo my equipment here. keep the substantially higher attack for him. be able to use it. I don't think I will, but I might be able to. We'll see. Oh wow, I should probably use that jar. Uh, at least I think it's here. It might be later on. Incidentally, fun fact, maple syrup re, um, makes you regain flower points. This, I believe, is a star. Woo! We need power. King of None, King of None 199. Hello there and welcome. Great to have you here. Don't believe I recognize you. I forgot to announce on Facebook? What? Hang on. Rev is being ridiculous. I'm, I'm 
fairly certain I didn't. No, I, it says that it posted. I it, it says that it did, Rev. I assume that you mean my uh, announcing the stream, and it, it did post. It posted to my um, my Facebook and my Twitters. But either way, hi Rev. Great to have you as always. And King of None, the stranger from Resident Evil. I I don't think the stranger is in this game. God, I hope it's not. <laughs> I honestly don't know though. But I don't believe it is. Yeah, it, it went out. Um, it went out on the, the Facebooks and the Twitter. I just checked my, uh, my Hootsuite thing, and it, it did indeed go down. But hello, hello to both of you. So for anybody who missed it, I, um, I'm... The, um... Actually, the reason that I'm here, the reason that I'm doing this whole thing right now, is I'm uh, I I had a um, a pretty bad day yesterday, so I'm just like ugh. I just feel really really bad right now, and I just wanted to have fun playing my little game here. This is literally my favorite game of all time, and I really love it. I always have fun with it, and I just sort of needed a break type of thing. Um, I needed to have fun with it. So, here I am. But, either way, King of None and Rev, hello to both of you. remember this. I remember this. I, I have to... I have to hit them with magic. I mean, it is true. If if I want to be a real Twitcher, then I've I've got to play the Fortnites, right? That's that's kind of the whole shtick. It's part of the whole kit and caboodle. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, wait. This is my favorite part. It's my favorite part of the battle music. So I got lucky, quote unquote, which means that I can double the stuff, but I'd rather not. I'm trying to block these, but the problem is I I don't remember how. Like, you have to remember the exact timing for every enemy attack in order to block it correctly. And that's the issue that we run into. Um, dang it. I 
hate wasting this. The problem is I just have to hit the dry bones with some magic. As long as I hit it with some magic, it dies. Oh, see, I got the block on that one. Uh, it's... I mentioned before, watching the, um... The actual, um... Twitch runs of this, like the, the speed runs of this game, are super impressive. Um, you see people who know, like, every single nook and cranny of this game. And get, like, all of the secrets when they need them. They get all of the, um... They get all of the awesome, what's it called, they, ah, oh, shoot, they get all of the, um, I can't, I can't afford to. I'm used to Dragon Quest. I need to, I, I need to, to heal when I, like, right when I'm outside. Okay. Whew! Whew! Okay. That was ridiculous. Um, so like I said, one of the nice things about this game compared to um, most others is that you, um, you're you actually able to um, you're able to gain XP even if you're not in the party, which is something that doesn't happen too too often. It does happen sometimes, but not all the time, and so it's really freaking cool. Uh, the problem that I'm going to run into now is basically that I'm going to be kind of screwed. I'm actually going to have to swap over to, what's his name, to uh, Mallow for at least part of this. But yeah. Uh, I hope that you all are doing well at least. Oh right, I need to knock the barrel off. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now we got it. Now we're working. They see me rolling. They hayin. I know. It's telling me what the password is. So this is the password right here. So... I, I've memorized what the password is. I remember it from when I was a kid. Alright, so this is the evil squid now. I hate the evil squid. I really, really do. We're gonna try to do... You haven't been hit in a, with a car, so you got that going. Oh yeah, that is very nice. It must be nice. One of the things that I really... Um, that I really don't have that the, um... The, quote, main... Um, streamers do of this game is that I, um, I I don't get all of the damaging items so there's a whole bunch of different items that you can get that allow you to um, do ridiculous amounts of damage to um, to the enemies simultaneously so you've got things that just sort of like cover the whole screen kind of like this oh shoot I missed it Ah, wrong button. No! So remember I mentioned that I'm not very good at this? This is what I was talking about. So Rev is over here joking about being hit by cars. The... Wow, 52? From Mallow? What the fudge, Mallow? Where have you been? Um, the the big reason for for that for the the car thing, I should say, that Rev is talking about, 
is because um, yesterday I got hit by a car <laughs> when I was on my way home. So, yeah, it sucked. Um, one thing that kind of sucks is that I don't have Thunderbolt, which is not ideal. Or uh, not Thunderbolt, I don't have, what is it, like Thunder Shock or something like that. In other words, I'm under leveled right now. That's basically what it boils down to. There, see that I got I got it right on. That's what I needed. Stupid thing. Yeah, thankfully I'm uh, I'm okay. I'm just mostly shaken up. It was just a really bad experience. The worst thing about get, about doing the timed hits is when you get the animation, but nothing actually happens. Like, it doesn't change what you actually do. It's really frustrating. So, like, you can get the, the block animation, but it doesn't actually do much. It's really annoying. <laughs> what am I lesson about writing a play? No, unfortunately not. Yeah, it's... It's unfortunate because the, the problem is I really genuinely enjoy riding my bike and it saves me a ridiculous amount of time and money, but yeah, it's not great when you go around getting hit. So if you watch some of the speedrunners for this game, when they're at this boss, they'll have Mallow do the, the Thundershock so that um, the big lightning storm thing and it'll take out the the tentacles almost like at once it'll pretty much take them all out simultaneously it's pretty impressive And the, the problem that I always end up running into is that I, um, oh shoot, I did the wrong one. One of the things is that the, um, the next big boss is Jonathan Jones. He, um, he's the big bad guy for this area and the streamers, the, the speedrunners, I should say, I keep saying streamers, but the speedrunners, um, they will get the um, they will get a special bonus off of him, which is doing that super jump, the thing that I just did a hundred times in a row without messing up. It's very, very difficult to do. Um, but you need to do it in order to get some of the best weapons available, essentially. So it's it becomes really important. And, um, yeah, so if you don't do it, then you miss out on getting those really awesome weapons, and the, be game, the game becomes a little bit harder, um, because generally when it comes to the, um, when it comes to the, uh, speedruns, you want to keep a low, um, a low level. At least it doesn't damage us too much. But now we can do a group hug. And it's frustrating because I need a lot of healing for this. The reason I need a lot of healing is because I'm not really ideally leveled for this right now. But yeah. If memory serves, there's, there's some weird thing that happens with the... Um... Oh, wow. So that's what happens when you don't actually block something. You get a ridiculous amount of damage. <laughs> Before I actually blocked it and it did zero damage. Um, I remember reading somewhere, like I, I guess when I was a kid, that one of the um, 
one of the issues that you can run into with this game or with this boss is if you destroy the tentacles, um, then something bad happens. I don't remember exactly what, but it's bad. So, and that's why in my case it's going a little bit slower compared to like what a um, a speedrunner would be capable of doing because all of this stuff is optimized. They've got lots of optimized paths, pressing stuff at exactly the right moment, blah, 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 blah. That stuff, I can't do. But um, I, I still have fun playing the game itself. That's what I'm all about. Okay, got that one out. And, I mean, I could be wrong about the tentacles. I could have sworn that it's recommended not to do anything with them. But I honestly don't remember now. I would just love it if that had taken out King Calamari, just like a little punch in the face. Ow! Rude. Because what ends up happening is he basically just pulls more tentacles after they're destroyed. So it makes no difference. Effectively. Alright, so I need to save that for my group therapy. Dang it, we gotta block this. Shoot! I didn't block it enough. Dang it! So now I have to use a pick me up on him. Hopefully I get a freebie. Incidentally, one thing I really, really love about the um, about the items in this game, the healing items in this game, is that when you use them to heal, then uh, or the revival items, is that it heals you for your entire HP. It's not like you come back with 10% or whatever it is. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna use this, see if I can get him. He should be close. Ha! Told you he was close. Boom! Diggy! I know things! I'm like Tyrion Lannister. I drink and I know things, but I'm not drinking at the moment. I'm Danny. I game and I know things about games. Haha. -ha. Take that, you stupid squid. Ah! I'm missing something here. See something stupid. Hey, look, it's Marathalyn. Hey, Marathalyn, how are you doing? Told you I was missing something stupid. No worries about being late. How's Tiny doing? Oh, on the way home. Well, that's fun. Well, I hope everything's okay. Ooh, art stuffs. That's fun. Tiny is tiny. <laughs> I mean, as is tradition. It's not fair. I want a spa day. I got run over yesterday. I think I deserve a spa day. <laughs> I didn't actually get run over. It Really, like, by my accident, it honestly was not a huge deal. It really wasn't. Um, I, of course, I feel, uh, I feel more shocked than anything, but it, it was not a huge hullabaloo as far as what actually occurred. Oh, God, I hate this attack. I was not roadkill. No, it was it was just a minor thing. 
<laughs> Why am I streaming? Because I love this game! It's literally my favorite game of all time. I wanted to play it. It makes me feel better. How is there nothing up there? There should be something up there. I had a feeling that was going to happen. But yeah, I just... I mo The only reason that I'm streaming, honestly, is because this is my favorite game. And I... And it allows me to do two things, essentially. I get to play my favorite game, which is awesome. And so I'm very happy to be able to do that. And the other thing is that um, it allows me to further test my new rig and make sure that it works properly, essentially. So, two reasons. Just want to make sure everything is good. I should really just level up a little bit. I mean, my weekend is pretty much the same as every other weekend, and my week is the same as all of my weeks have been lately. I'm, um, you know, super busy, lots and lots of work, um, unfortunately. It just sort of is what it is at this point, though, you know. But I hope that you guys are all doing well. Or at least better than me, that is. I really feel like I need to level up some more. I just do not feel that I'm at a good spot level-wise at this point. Also, I really want those chests. I don't know how to get there. I assume I have to jump across there. Oh, right, this thing. It's so weird. I, I still don't understand the point of that room, honestly. Ah! Just goofy. That room. Dang it! I know that there's good stuff in there. I know it for a fact. Alright, I'm gonna try it one more time. And I'm also gonna swap out... Let's do Gino from now here. God, they, they, they need so much. They, they need so much um, XP. It sucks. Ugh. Okay, I'm done. I'm pretty sure that there's somebody behind there. I do like the sound that those guys make. That whoing. I think it sounds really cool. Alright, so let me do this. Let me swap out Toadstool for Mallow. If I'm going to be fighting undead, then I need to have a lot of magic available. And that means I need Mallow. And that's why you need Mal. I hate needing Mallow, but we need Mallow. Yay! Yes! Super Flame! Okay, so what do you need? You need more attack. Mallow, what do you need? Shocker! That's the one! 
Okay. No laughing! <laughs> no laughing! Is there really nobody back here? That's just the menu. Quiet, Rev. It's inappropriate. So the pure water is nice because um, it can defeat these undead guys instantly. Um, fun little hack for what's it called um, Final Fantasy as well there were um, there were some undead enemies that would attack you and if you used a phoenix down on them they would instantly die I remember very distinctly there were a couple from I want to say it was Final Fantasy 7 it might have been 8 but yeah there, there were a few Mario got this. <laughs> we will rock. We will indeed rock. Double your coin, sure. I have to find Yoshi. I think it was this one. trust that treasure chest. So I'm going to save first. Um, it is almost time for me to go. I I can try to fight Jonathan Jones, but I don't know if it's going to go well. I highly doubt it. So that, that little mushroom thing that I got is essentially a, a, a heal. It's, it's a Pokemon Center. I really don't want to fight the Mimic. I don't have a choice. Shit. So that's the shocker. Ah! Oh. Well, boo. <laughs> Oh, that must be what I was thinking about, Rev. I must have been thinking about Final Fantasy X. Really? It's immune to magic? Except for the Geno Beam. I can't believe I forgot that. I forgot that he's completely immune to magic. But that means that my Thunderbolt will work on the little dudes, at least. Stop biting me! One of the issues with this game is that you don't have the um, the luxury that you have in like um, what is it the one I've been playing um, Dragon Quest where oh Jesus <laughs> where you can um, where you can swap out your um, characters mid battle you can't do that in this game unfortunately. Hopefully he doesn't have a whole lot left. There we go. Okay. Sleepy time! I don't like doing the HP boosts, but realistically I should. Safety badge is good to have. Um, what does the amulet do? I don't remember. It, it does something special. This is not the group that I want to go against Johnny with, though. So I'm going to go with Toadstool. Dang it. And now I got to get this stupid thing off the mellow. Oh! Really? 
God dang it. There. I don't know why it didn't work before. Okay. Well, So let me heal up, because I believe that Jonathan is next. I believe. And then I gotta get my maple syrup. All right, so now I'm all healed up. And we are gonna fight, what's his name? Soon. Not right now, but soon. These fish get mad at you and they start to attack. But I gotta get my frog coins. No, don't hit me! No! Run! Run! No! Ugh. Well, dang it. Should've kept Mao. The problem is right now Mallow is the only one who has a large scale attack that hits multiple bad guys. Everybody else only has single bad guy attacks. I mean, I guess Bowser has Terrorize, but Terrorize sucks, so we don't pay attention to And again, this is why I said that it's honestly not a bad thing for me to do a little bit of fighting right now. Because um, I could use a bump to my, um, my levels. And that's why I need Mao. <laughs> I told you! So basically it prevents you from getting killed instantly, type of thing. Hmm. It seems like a fair trade. He can't do it, TH can't. Oh, th thank you for the substantial vote of confidence there, Rev. I appreciate it. <laughs> Boosh! That's how you do. sushi for lunch. I'm down, homie. Yo, hit me up. Hit me up on the flippity flop. Or, you know, whatever the kids are saying. Shoot. It's, ah. I gotta get going, unfortunately.
So this is good news though. The good news here is that Mallow is strong enough that he can defeat these guys with a single attack. That's kind of a good metric to know where you're at and to make sure like, yes, we're, we're where we are supposed to be type of thing. Dang it, I need to save. Shoot. All right. So this is the Johnny fight, obviously. Um, and this is where um, this is where you're supposed to use the super jump and get a hundred jumps. So the the whole shtick is that oh shit. Dang it. The whole shtick is that you can um, you if you jump on Johnny's head a hundred times and you have all of the stats exactly correct, then that means that basically Johnny will die. Um, it, but you have to do it exactly a hundred times to make it work. And that's part of how speedrunners make certain that they got the correct number of jumps, is that they actually defeat Johnny. Um, the problem is I will not be able to do that. And frankly, I don't remember most of the animations here, so I'm kind of screwed. Why don't I get sushi? That seems rude. Dang it. I just... I kept getting 12, 12, 12, 12. So now the problem is that even though those guys are gone, they're all going to come back. And that's the issue that we always run into. So basically what he's going to do now is he's going to call more goons in. I can have all the veggies they put in the rolls. Oh, that's, that's so generous of you. <laughs> can request care. Y'all are hilarious. Alright, so here we're gonna try it. Well, I, that's, that's a pretty typical limit um, to reach on it. Um, because at that time, that's when the, um, the valid frame changes, essentially. So you're only able to get so many um, correct uh, correct values, effectively. T girly, don't think I've seen you here, but hello, <laughs> kale roll. <laughs> but good, I'm glad that it looks smooth. That's awesome. Um, I, I had mentioned before one of the issues was that on my old system, um, this game didn't work. Ten even couldn't even get to twelve. So yeah, it's good to see you, T girly. Like I said, haven't seen you around. Awesome to have you though. So this is what happens when you don't get the um, when you don't get the super jump done exactly right. You enter into this stage of the of the fight. Right, I can survive another one. Another female on dating stream. It is a shock. <laughs> oh, what? No! Not the Mega Drain! 
And so this is this is why speedrunners defeat Johnny quickly, <laughs> so that they can avoid this section of the fight, essentially. But yeah, it's great to have you here, T girly. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, that was close. Almost got me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so one of the issues that I had on my old computer was I was using a, um, I was using like one of those stream box things to uh, to stream to like the um, the USB essentially on um, on my computer. And it worked, and I actually played through like the entirety of Breath of the Wild with it. It was okay, but the problem is it just was not very good. Um, so it was always really frustrating. But now I've got my new computer built and working and all that good stuff. And so part of the thing is I wanted to get it tested. I've got my capture card and everything, so it's awesome. There we go. Yay, I did it! That was terrible for a speedrun, though. That's why this is not a speedrun. <laughs> yeah, if if I claim to be a member of the speedrunning community, I would basically be, you know, flayed. <laughs> and everybody would think I was a total joke. And they would be right, honestly. But yeah. So, fun times. But as soon as I'm done with this, I've actually got to get going, unfortunately. I remember what happens here. We have some... We have some issues that occur, unfortunately. And I may actually have to level up before the next section. But... For the time being, at least. Johnny's my homie now. We got the we got the respect. Aww. See, I got I got respect of Johnny. That's what really matters. Um, gonna go here. Is I think there's a save point. There might be one back here. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this as a save point real quick uh, because I've gotta get going. Um, the thing is, I can't go back to the town because of what happens next. So I would tell you guys, but it's secret and you gotta tune in next time so that you can see what happens. Um, but incidentally, thank you all very, very much for stopping by. Hope that you enjoyed the game. Um, you guys know I always love playing um, these games. I, I always like streaming, um, but I'm glad that I was still able to, to do it today. But, oh look, I Am Loose Cannon shows up at the last minute. Dang it, why does everybody show up at the last minute? <laughs> but, um, like I said, keep, keep in mind, in about three weeks, I'm going to be doing my big massive live stream as well uh, for a charity giveaway. Um, check out, I'm, I'm going to be posting a video in, um, like in the next few days, essentially, doing the official announcement, talking about some of the games I'll be playing and all that good stuff. I'm going to have giveaway prizes, and it's just, it's going to be an awesome time. We're also going to be doing Danny After Dark. So we're going to be playing like the more intense, not so family friendly games as well. So it'll be pretty fun. But, um, but yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll be back on Monday. So hopefully I'll see you all then. Not certain what I'm going to play. As always, you guys feel free to tweet, uh, tweet me, Facebook me, um, send a message on Twitch, however you want to do it, um, to let me know that, um, what you'd like to see but oh look and t girl t girly is uh following me on twitch now thank you so much for for the follow it was great seeing you great meeting you and uh thanks to everybody else who who showed up so yeah thanks thanks so much and i will hopefully see you all on monday